Hello there. All right, today we got a brand new Madden 22 San Francisco 49ers rebuild. So I'm a San Francisco 49ers fan, always have been since I was little. And we almost won the Super Bowl a couple years ago against the Chiefs. And last year we got decimated with injuries. So I'm gonna see if we can't get us a Super Bowl championship. So first things first, this wouldn't be a true rebuild if we don't get rid of the quarterback. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna trade Jimmy G. But let's see where we can upgrade. Right away, Kareem Hunt, great. So see if we can't get Kareem Hunt on our team while offloading Jimmy Garoppolo. And then we can start our franchise with the boy, Trey Lance. So let's see here, Jimmy Garoppolo. Straight up for Kareem Hunt. I wonder if they'll do it. All right, so it's not looking like we can trade Jimmy Garoppolo for Kareem Hunt. However, I think trading Kareem Hunt for Raheem Mostert is a upgrade for us. Kareem Hunt is a little better uh, all around back. So, okay, so we'll give them a pick as well. Next year's fourth round pick maybe. All right, so we are starting off trading Raheem Mostert and our third round pick to the Cleveland Browns for Kareem Hunt. I think that gives us an overall better running back. And now let's get our quarterback situation ironed out. Let's get Jimmy Garoppolo out of there so we can start off fresh with Trey Lance. So let's see what we can get for him. Let's see if we can get draft picks for him. I know the Dolphins got a lot of draft picks. Maybe we get a first round pick from the Dolphins. Okay, so maybe not a first round pick from them next year. How about a second this year and a second next year? All right, so we're sending Jimmy Garoppolo to the Miami Dolphins for two second round picks, one this year, one next year. Another place I think we can get better is that strong safety. Uh, a lot of playmakers in the league at this position and the Niners safeties are pretty good, but I think you try to get a super good playmaker here for the Niners. Foskey Tart, and let's see if we can't swing some draft picks for him. Kwasi Tart in a second round pick, that probably won't get it done. Not even close. All right, Jimmy Ward. All right, so let's take a look around the league where we can get a playmaker at safety for us. Doesn't have to be a game breaker, but we really want a good playmaker. See if we can't get Derwin James here. So we'll go Jaquaski Tart in a second round pick next year for Derwin James, not even close. All right, instead of Tart, maybe they'll want our other safety more, Jimmy Ward, a little higher rated. No, all right, so we're not gonna really get Derwin James since that's the best package we can give up, really move over to free safety see if we can get any any action a lot of these guys are really good but not necessarily the guy we need matter of fact let's see if the chiefs will give us tyron matthew instead of you know jimmy ward we'll give them a defense alignment since the niners have really good depth on the d line see if we can give up eric armstead and a second round pick next year for tyron matthew no not even close all right all right so instead of trying to get a safety Let's see if we can't just upgrade the D-line a little bit. Forrest Buckner is much better than Eric Armstead in my opinion. So this will be a win for us if we can get him back on the Niners. Not looking likely. All right. So the Niners defense is really good. Just not a lot of game breakers except Nick Bosa. All right. So we are trading in a pretty controversial pick. Uh, our starting left tackle, Trent Williams. Um, a second round pick this year and a second round pick next year to the Eagles for two first round picks this year. I think that'll help us upgrade our team pretty quickly here with another trade. All right, so we're sending to replace uh, our Trent Williams left tackle. We're uh, going to get Jonah Williams back from the Bengals and we're going to give up a third round pick next year. All right, so we're upgrading our tight end position, our tight end number two. We're going to pick up Big Bob Tanyan from the Packers. And we're going to give up a fourth and a fifth round draft pick and Ross Dwelly, who's our second tight end, which is an upgrade from a 67 to an 81 overall. So I think we will be good to go locked and loaded here. Uh, I'm going to set my depth chart and then we will see you in the season. All right. So we are an 81 overall. Um, we're going to jump into mid season and see where we stack up against the rest of the league. Um, this team... We downgraded our quarterback immediately, but we're going with Trey Lance. That's the guy we drafted third overall. And we traded Trent Williams 
We got a bunch of picks for him. Right now we're sitting at four and two midway through the year. So that's pretty good. Let's check out um, some stats. See how our guys are doing midway through the year. See how Trey Lance is doing. He's 29th in the NFL in passing yards, 23rd in passing TDs. Our running backs ninth in the league in rushing and 13th in rushing touchdowns. And we're middle of the road on defense 13th. So we're not looking great statistically, but um, as a team, we are four and two. So that's pretty good. So let's uh, upgrade these players and we will be in the playoffs, I guess. Hopefully we make it. Let's hope we make it. All right, so here we are in the playoffs. We finished off 10 and seven. Not bad, it's pretty good. Let's check out some stats of our own team. Trey Lance with 3,700 yards, 36 TDs, and 15 picks. Pretty good year, really good year actually. Running back, uh, about 1,500 yards, a ton of touches. Um, eight TDs for our starter, nine for our backup, four for our fullback. Richie James led the Niners in receiving in catches, in yards, and in touchdowns. Incredible. Brandon and I, you gave him this 10 TDs as well. Not one 1,000 yard receiver, um, but we did trade for Robert Tanyan and he got only 11 catches on the year. So that's not great, pretty underused. And our defense do. Fred with 133 tackles, pretty good. Nick Bosa, 15 and a half sacks. Amazing, all right, so let's see how we stack up in the playoffs. We are in the wild card. Let's simulate the game. And we want, did we win? We did win. All right, good. All right, so we got the division foe, Seattle Seahawks and Russell Wilson. Let's see if we win it. Boom, we won. We're playing the Dallas Cowboys that made the playoffs at 10 and seven. Upgrade our players, but we are in the deep in the playoffs right now. All right, we are in the conference. We lose and we lost. We lost in the NFC championships to the Dallas Cowboys. We lost 38 to 24. They outgained us on offense. They got more first downs. Total yards more than us. We turned it over once. Can't win games losing the turnover battle. We only converted three third down. That is a killer. And they dominate us in time possession. That's not great. Our quarterback, one TD, one pick. Tough. All right, so we came up short. We are in the we lost in the NFC Championship. Um, let's retool it and see how we go from here. I think we need more weapons on offense. That was a not great not a great uh, showing by our offense there in the NFC Championship. Converted three third downs. You'll never win a playoff game that way. If you do, it's a disaster that you did. So we got the third pick in the draft. Let's see if we can't swing that for a superstar immediate um, game changer for us. I wish it was a trade finder. We just put up the pick that we can trade and see if people want it. Straight away, let's go to the Rams. See if they want to give us Aaron Donald. Boom. We're trading the third pick overall to the Rams for Aaron Donald. Great trade, I'd do it a million times. So we just got better, a lot better right there. So that's unbelievable for us. Just go up to our next pick here. All right, let's see, trade away the pick. Let's review the offer. We can get three picks there. Nobody wants to give us a player right away. All right, so no one wants to give us a player. All right, so let's see if we can't trade this for a player. Again, let's see if we can get an offense player this time. I was not expecting to be able to get Aaron Donald with the third pick, so maybe the 12th pick will get us a really good offense player as well. Again, not an Aaron Donald type, because that's generational. Light years pick. Uh, see if we can't get a good a good third receiver. Where should we go to go look? We want versatile type guys like Ayuk and Debo Samuel, who are like wide receiver running back type guys that can just kind of do it all. Like a LaVisca Chanel, but we want more than a 78 overall. All right, let's see if we can't get DJ Moore for the 12th pick. Boom. All right, so we got DJ Moore in return for the 12th pick. 
great trade for us. He's going to be better than any of the 12th, per, anybody we can get at number 12 anyways. So that's a great pick. I personally believe in trading picks for players as a great deal. You get a free, a for sure, you know what you got guy instead of you're hoping to get a guy. Because the whole thing with trading for picks is you're like, oh, we hope we can get this guy. But if you trade for a player, you can get that guy. You don't got to wait for a guy to develop and maybe he'll turn into a guy like that. You can just get the guy. Advance to the preseason. Let's get into the depth chart and fix that around a little bit. Trey Lance is now 79 overall. Kareem Hunt's a 90. Our receiver room is looking phenomenal. We got an 86, an 82, and 81. Ricky Keenan. We got to sign some free agents, it looks like. All right, so we're waiting on all these guys to resign. Let's just jump to the regular season. Man, I hope we didn't just skip over re-signing all those players. Because if we don't have those players, we're not going to be very good. Let's take a look. Hopefully we got our guys still. All right, so we totally missed out on re-signing our players. Not a great look for our franchise there. We got basically no corners. Let's see if we can win this thing, huh? Put the hand up on me. Didn't know. You just skip right over them. Jump to the midseason, see how we're doing. Last first year we were four and two at midseason. Let's see where we are now. All right, we're six and one. So us not re-signing a whole bunch of guys, maybe for the better. Thought it was gonna be a crucial mistake. Maybe come playoff time, we will get punished for it. That's not a great look if we do. All right, so hopefully we make the playoffs. We're six and one, so I think we'll be good. Um, Hard to fall off there at the end if we don't make the playoffs. Hey, I guess you never know. You never know until you know. And when you know, it might be too late. But I guess we'll take a look. So we ended up 12 and five. We closed the season out six and four. Take a look at the stats, huh? 12 and five, pretty good, pretty good. So individual stats, Trey Lance, 34 and nine touchdowns, over 4,000 yards, 65%, pretty good. Less than 10 picks. Kareem Hunt, again, a ton of touches, 10 touchdowns, 1,300 yards, our backup, 13 TDs. So we got a good rushing attack, not a ton of yards, a lot of production though. George Kittle, 96 catches, over 1,000 yards receiving, eight touchdowns. Brandon Ayuk, 14 touchdowns. DJ Moore, nine touchdowns. Debo Samuel, two touchdowns, 80 catches though. Um, defense, Fred Warner, 122 tackles, doing what you do. Aaron Donald, 15 sacks. Armstead 11 and a half sacks, Nick Bosa eight and a half sacks. That's a defense right there if you ever seen one. No way we won any awards. Uh, defense player of the year? That in here? Ezekiel Elliott won MVP, wow. Ah, we were second in coach of the year. Tough. All right, let's view the playoff bracket. We are the two seed behind the, char or the, behind the Cowboys who we lost in the conference Championship last year, so let's see if we can't make it back and beat them. Do we beat the nine and eight? Yes, we do beat the nine and eight Eagles. We got the Bears. Ah, Bears. Let's see if we don't beat these guys. All right. So we got a rematch. We got a rematch of the NFC Championship two years in a row. We got the Cowboys who are the one seed against my San Francisco 49ers. We lost by two scores last time. Only had three conversions on third down. Let's see if we did enough to come back and beat them. We upgraded our defense. We upgraded our offense a little bit. So let's see what we can do here. Did we beat the Cowboys in the conference championship? All right, so we are in the Super Bowl. We beat the, Cha the Cowboys 21-17. We outgained them. So our defense, adding Aaron Donald, proven worth it. We had 14 first downs. We had only held them to 13. No turnovers. We held them to four third down conversions. We only had six, but our defense basically won us this game for us. We only gave up 120 yards on the pass. That means we're getting after the passer. Let's see um, our defense. Must've got a lot of pressures or sacks or something. Only one sack, but we must have had a lot of pressure. So. so here we are in the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs. Like in real life two years ago, the Niners lost to the Chiefs, but we are looking for revenge, shout out to Drake. We are looking to win this thing right here, right now. This is really what matters. And the Johnny Carmack rebuild is who wins the, who wins the Super Bowl in here. Real life, who, who knows? 
I'm the one calling the shots here. This is when it matters. Do we win the Super Bowl? Let's see right now. We lost the Super Bowl. We lost the Super Bowl again. 35 to 21. All right, so all we can do is uh, gear up again for year three. Three. And maybe we'll re-sign our players this time. Now that I know that we have to do that manually. And they don't just do it automatically for us. See how you do that. All right, we got to re-sign Nick Bosa, of course. We got any other super key guys. Got to re-sign Jonah Williams, our left tackle. Get him on the books. Got to bring Debo back. Kareem Hunt, of course. Guy gets a ton of carries for us. We got to bring him back. DJ Moore. I right, Hopefully we can bring him back. Hopefully we got enough money. Got him. Nice. McGlinchey, right tackle. Come back. Sure, why not? Greenlaw. Got to bring him back. That's a stud right there. Nice. Bring back our punter. Why not? What's $2.6 million to us? Daniel Mosley, bring him back. You carried our number one corner duties this year. All the way to the Super Bowl. Bring back our kicker? No, let's not. He's a 64 overall. That's no good. Let's bring back Jimmy Ward. Maybe we're going to trade him. All right, didn't want to come back anyways. All right, so I'm happy with where we got right now. All right, let's go out into the free agent market. See if we can't snag anybody for our team. We got $92 million in available funds, 25 in cap room. Hey, Aaron Rodgers on the on the market, you make an offer. That's all right, we got Trey Lance. If Aaron Rodgers is out there, you try to make an offer. I mean, let's see if we can get him. Because if we get him, that's just gotta be a guaranteed Super Bowl, right? Let's hope we get an Aaron Rodgers. We got 20K in cap room. That means we had to have signed him. I right, still mulling over his options. Respectable, respectable. See if we can't snag a corner on the cheap. Greedy Williams, maybe. Oh, we can't even do it yet. We're waiting on old Aaron Rodgers. Hey, I'm willing to wait on Aaron Rodgers. You take all the time you want. All the time you need. Gotta hold out on you. you never know. Aaron Rodgers, please sign. I haven't made a decision yet. All right, let's see if we got him. Boom! Landed Aaron Rodgers. He's a 39 years old. Aaron Rodgers is 92 overall. Our quarterback right now is an 83. And he's 23 years old, so it's good for the future. And you got a ton of playing time. But we are looking to win the Super Bowl right now and get us over the top. I think Aaron Rodgers will be that guy. You that guy, pal? I think he's that guy. We don't need the draft. We just got our draft right there. We just hit the jackpot. Got a top five quarterback of all time. Top five Quarterback of all time, top three in talent of all time. Go right to the regular season. We don't need we don't need the preseason. Players don't want the preseason anyways. Alright, so we are going to jump into midseason of year three of the San Francisco 49er rebuild. Year one, we lost in the conference finals. Conference championship. Year two, we lost in the Super Bowl to the Chiefs. Year three, let's see what we got. We got Aaron Rodgers on our team. We are two and five. Wow, that's extremely unfortunate. Why are we two and five? I guess we gotta check the stats on that, huh? Aaron Rodgers, 11th in the, in the league in passing, fifth in touchdowns, we're 10th in rushing yards, but we're 31st in defense. Our defense is supposed to be amazing. Our front seven is at least. I don't know about that back end. Bosa's got five sacks. Kinlaw's got two. We got one and a half there. All right, so I think our defense will pick it up. I trust them. So let's go into the final year of the rebuild and let's see if we can't make the playoffs here. I'm hoping so. We swung for the fences with Aaron Rodgers. We got him. Let's see if it pays off for us. We were lost at the doorstep two years in a row of success. It's Super Bowl or bust. And we lost right on the nose twice. Did we make the playoffs? We are the number one seed after starting off two and five. We are the number one seed at 12 and five. We won the next 10 games. I told you we were gonna pick it up on defense. I told you, I told you, I told you. And we did just that. We picked it up when our last 10 games of the regular season. We ended up sixth in passing, 36 touchdowns, 11th in yards. We were bottom of the barrel in yards on defense. We ended up in first. Look at that defense. We must have a ton of sacks. 127 tackles from Fred Warner, nice. 12 and a half sacks from Donald, nine from Bosa, five from Warner, five from Kinlaw, five from Armstead. That's looking good. Cream Hunt, getting absolutely worked to death. Another 300 touch season, almost 1,500 yards. 
Ayuka 11 TDs, Kittle 7 TDs, Moore 7, Debo 7. So we're super balanced. Aaron Rodgers spraying the ball all over the field. Let's see if we can't get ourselves our first Super Bowl simulating the wildcard weekend. All right, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they're nine and eight. We should be able to handle these guys. Boom, we got a rematch for the third year in a row. We are playing the Dallas Cowboys in the NFC Conference Championship. Let's see if we can't take them down. This time as we are the one seed. All right, we beat the Cowboys 35 to 14. Who are we playing in the Super Bowl? We got the Jacksonville Jaguars in the Super Bowl. Okay, so Urban Meyer and Trevor Lawrence, it worked out, got them to the Super Bowl. Our Aaron Rodgers Hail Mary attempt has also gotten us to the Super Bowl for the second straight year. Let's see if Aaron Rodgers is the difference and we can win the Super Bowl with him instead of Trey Lance. Let's see if the San Francisco 49ers should have got Aaron Rodgers in the first place instead of drafting Trey Lance and taking on Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers have won the Super Bowl in the year three of the San Francisco 49ers rebuild with Aaron Rodgers. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Aaron Rodgers takes us to the promised land and that does it for the San Francisco 49ers rebuild. Year one, lost in the conference championship to the Cowboys. Year two, we lost to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Year three, we pick up Aaron Rodgers in free agency on a one-year deal and we win the Super Bowl the Niners I was really hoping we we're gonna get Aaron Rodgers still can I guess proved to work here in the rebuild and we are Super Bowl champions in year three of the rebuild if you like this football content let me know we got football season around the corner I played football my whole life I haven't played in college there's my college helmet right there um, let me know what kind of football content you want to see uh, I will be happy to bring it along with you. Make sure you like and you subscribe. And a lot of you guys who are watching actually aren't subscribed. So if you want to consider hitting that subscribe button for me and like and leaving a comment on what you want to see from me, let me know, please. And without further ado, I hope you're having a nice day and adios.